So a little behind the scenes story on this is this truck was actually rolled apparently at one point. Hello. <laughs> this truck was rolled, which is why it's all tweaked to hell. Oh, there's the lift cylinder he was talking about. There is so. What is this a dump bed? I think there's a box on that side, a hydraulic box. But that boom on this pretty sick Chevy. Show him the hood on that thing. Oh, I haven't even seen it. It's a 454 truck too. But that boom used to be on here. Hydraulic pump maybe right here. Clean it off, then we'll figure it out. That is indeed a dump bed. I'll be. I did not know that. The hydraulics are still there. I don't see a pump anywhere. I don't even know where that would be. Maybe there's a PTO off the transmission. The cap to the tank's missing. I'm sure this is shot, but this is a dump bed. That's awesome. Also, Someone put a hoist on a dump bed. Interesting. Anything else is going to fly off going down the road? You need to come in from that direction rather than this direction. Mm -hmm. right As you can tell, there's a bit of a dog leg. Uh, we went up the ramp straight. <laughs> I need to overcompensate to the right before I come up. You need to come from where the is almost. You need to come up the ramp turning. <laughs> Well, the old man did say it had a rear main leak, and that's why he got parked, but that is... It's blood. That is a rear main geyser. It's blood. It's not hey, look, more, more walnuts. I'm busy. Can you stop playing with your nuts? Ugh. <laughs> Whoa. Look <laughs> how many are in there. Oh, yeah. We are at our place of residence. It made it. The straps only fell off like 10 times. Okay, um... What are we doing, Mook? Um, I'm gonna see if I can drive this. Sure, you, you, you had a manual car going up, right? Yeah, but I haven't driven a manual car for probably three years. Oh, you're fine. It's like riding a bicycle. You can always fall off those. This is no bike. <laughs> True. And it has no brakes. Don't worry. Yay! I didn't know that part! <laughs> no, there's a, don't, don't worry. There's, there's brakes. You just don't control them. I will. There's an emergency brake. So this is a F-350 from the Revival, and we're going to bring these trucks home today, and Mook's going to take them for a whirl. Yes. Take the old girl for a whirl, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shut up. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. It's a four-speed, 352, big old, big old engine, no brakes, you got this. Okay. I don't got this. More clutch, your clutch isn't in all the way. There you go. <laughs>
screaming noise? We lost some stuff. We lost some metal. What, were you screaming or what was that? That was metal falling off of us. <laughs> I thought you were making that noise. No. <laughs> we did 30? Is it possible? I'm a little scared, but we'll see. Ah, it's <laughs> fine. Oh. It rides like a dump truck. We're all gonna die. <laughs> all right, we hit thirty. There it is. Woo! We'll turn around in this driveway. We'll try to. Yeah. If we make it there. You, you drive this up in the cities? No. Yeah, it's not a good daily. No. We're going so. Alright, go ahead, just start coasting. We're going so crooked down the road. <laughs> this thing dog legs so bad. I might not even need to. I will yeah, when we get over there. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I, like, I need to make sure a little too soon. They can put it in gear and coast in there, or yeah. drive in there. You might have to. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's do it quick. There's more metal coming out. Teamwork. Put her to the rear. Get it. <laughs> Alright, second. Yes, Stand on it. I know, I Hit it. More, 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 more. <laughs> Keep going, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> this truck is insane! Isn't it awesome? Woo! It's a little worn out. It explodes a bunch. Everything's fine. Give her some beans. You can grab fourth. I don't know if I should. Do it. Woo! It's definitely blowing flames when it does that. I love it! Temperatures and pressures all look good. The rear mains leaky as hell. Finger up second. Am I parking or just leaving her on the road? Yeah, we'll park it out there. There's the F-250, the dumpster firebird. A little behind the scenes here, I guess. With Moog. I hope you guys are enjoying this. You should definitely subscribe to see more of this, you know. Oh my God, Kevin. Yeah, subscribe to watch me blow up some trucks. <laughs> Where am I putting it? Just over uh, here? Yeah, just park it right here for now. Okay. You got the brake? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go get the next one. There's a fluffy little bunny behind me. Go. A little bit of a title dispute on this, so we might not end up keeping this. But if nothing else, I can get it back to the original owner and get it from the woods where it was abandoned here in the middle of nowhere for the cornfield to the owner. So I'd be fine with that. <laughs> you smell. Yeah. I forgot the battery. I forgot the second booster pack. I remember to bring myself. Hop in and crank it. Should have enough juice. Hang on. Try it. 
Where did you steal this from? Uh, the old man's truck. Take two. Two, huh? Take seven. Yep, there you go. So let's see if we can get this to run off the original gas tank and then once again get Mook to drive it. What if you just drove all the revival trucks in this video? Did you just call me Mook? Mook. <laughs> call Boop over here to drive the truck. I'm, I'm rolling away now. <laughs> Are you? I found neutral. Here's some behind the scenes. Watch Kevin kill me. Your cup, your favorite. <laughs> yeah. It's mine. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh there goes one with bar rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John Deere Cup. You did your service. So here's what we did. I hooked up the old fuel line and hooked the air attachment on the air compressor, put it in the tank, blew in it until fuel came out, and this is what we got. Literally, tap the key and it fires right off and runs on its own. This truck's amazing. The 300s run really good. I'm a, I'm a believer now. Yes, no, but yes. What? You can't read? Put that down. I don't know if you know this, but there are no viruses found in this incoming message. You can't read. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Kenny! Okay. What? You get a free car with this truck. Oh, oh hey, wait a minute. This was kind of new. 2005. It just confirms it even more. Look at here. you nerds. Hello. Okay, so we're up here under the 78 and looking at the shift linkages on the transmission. Now this was not a floor shift transmission, but it's been converted to it. And I believe this pin here in the middle, go ahead and rock it in neutral, babe. You can see that pin moves. Okay, try to grab a gear. Yeah, see the problem here? So I think what I need to do is weld that pin in the middle. Go ahead and grab whatever the opposite gear of that is. Okay, now try to grab like third or second. Yeah, see the pin stays stuck in that linkage. So I think if I secure the pin in the middle of that, I right, go to neutral. Yeah, it should be able to move between that hole and that hole, so. That pin just flopping around all willy nilly is what's giving us issues with shifting. So I'm gonna, everything's fine. So, as you can see, this pin's supposed to be crimped into position, and it wasn't. So, we're gonna center this the best I can, tack it, and then weld it. Okay. Make sure it's 
level. It is. We'll weld that sucker in and hope that works. Get this back in there without touching it because it's really hot. There we go. So you should be able to go like schmear. Should potentially have gears. Yay! As long as the terrible welds hold up this time. We'll see. Okay, our pin is welded and finally holding. Everything's adjusted down here. This thing's pretty worn out, but I will have Mook go through the pattern now, starting with reverse all the way to third. There's reverse. There's first. And she's got to come back to neutral. Slide over, second, and third. And then back to neutral, and then she can go back to first or whatever she wants. She's gotta be really deliberate about the transition to neutral in the middle, which is kind of dumb that it's like that, but it's just so worn out that you can't kind of slide over. You gotta be really deliberate about your H pattern with the shifter or else it'll not catch that right there. So, perfect. And neutral. Everything works. Let's take it for a drive. It's working. Much better? It's a lot better. It's still got a little, a couple quirks in it. Mine in first is a little, yeah. a little tricky yet. I think it's just a little hard to click it in. I think we might be running out of gas though, or need some hose clamps on these fuel pumps. Kitten. The brakes are pretty bad now. Really? Alright, go ahead and grab a second. Nice, nice. Very nice. Cool. That's probably all the more we need, really. You can grab third if you want. Speed demon over here. There you go. All right. I'm gonna go faster, guys. Okay. Uh, downshift this second. Yeah. Nice. See, this this chick knows how to drive a manual right here. Still running. All right. Yeah. A lot easier with. Working transmission. So <laughs> Give her some nuts. <laughs> there you go. Okay, go ahead. Engine brake in first. Is it first. Just pull hard. There. Up? Yep. Whoa. You're good. All right, turn Do and brakes. Push hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're way down there. Oh. Okay, roll forward till it's balanced and it quits rolling. There you go. Alright, you get clear for reverse. You got another two inches. Alright, it's starting now. Oh, wait, you're in third. No, you're good. Is that reverse? Yeah, it's reverse. Is that good? Oh, shit. That's good. No, you're good. Oh, too fast. You're okay. It's a really touchy clutch. All right, go for it. Can I just roll? Yeah. Go ahead. Like a boss. This is what the second time you've driven an old vehicle, 
with old the manual. old manual vehicle. Yeah, old vehicle with a manual trans. <sighs> yeah. That's my girl. Oh, don't forget to check your rear view mirror. Okay. <laughs> you dork. Well, what'd you think? Much easier to drive than before. And shift and everything, yeah. Yeah, we tried this earlier when it, uh... Right when we got home. Almost. Yeah, the transmission wasn't working, so we're like, all right, let's just stop and fix this. In the morning, yep. after we sleep our frustration off. And then we got it working, so Mook was finally able to rip through some gears and the old 78 here. So... Okay, Rebels, thanks for joining me on another adventure of chaos where we drove the two new revival trucks. The other one's far away. But make sure you don't subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.